we stand at a very interesting time in the technology sector and aerospace in particular. There's a lot of new technology coming to market. If you look at the very rapid evolution just over recent years around a number of core enabling technologies, whether that's an all battery electric system, a hybrid system with a turbo generator or hydrogen fuel cells, for example, Aerotech are really positioning themselves at the forefront of that complete disruption of the powertrain and even aerospace product development. Aerotech's mission is to accelerate the evolution of aerospace. We have certainly recognized that unless we lean into these new technologies, we actually risk being disrupted ourselves. You know, the world is looking for more bespoke tailored solutions and the ability to iterate quickly, develop a product very rapidly, bring it to market, experiment, adapt. The quicker you can do that, the more powerful that is. I think there's a, a really nice kind of symbiosis between Aerotech's approach, which again is looking to do, do things differently and leverage the latest technology with Siemens approach as well, which is kind of putting those tools in the hands of people like us. Um, and ultimately that yields potentially substantial savings in product development lifecycle time. Aerotech is really unique in that our main value is in integration of these new technologies into an aerospace environment. Sometimes we're working on things that, you know, really there isn't a, an industry answer for. As we move forward in the future, the problems are going to get far more integrated. We need tools that, that are tightly integrated as well. When you're in a prototype development state, you're in a constant state of change. And to do that uh, effectively and efficiently, it just needs tools that are set up to you know, talk and collaborate across the board with that digital thread beginning to end. So when we look at you know, the tool sets that we want to be able to use, tools like the Accelerator Suite are, are going to be crucial for us in terms of being able to, to have solutions that, that take into account all the physics at the level of detail that we need and, and bring those solutions around to a, a design solution that really solves all the customer requirements in a very tightly integrated way, but also um, with the speed that's needed. So in terms of our PLM journey, we started really several years ago. We were a very file-based, folder-based system, very manual. And that didn't really allow us to control our design data in a very thoughtful manner. So we decided to bring in TeamCenter as our PLM solution. In the initial stages, we really just used that as a very simple database, a, a repository for the data. We started to understand that we can leverage Team Center in much, much more powerful ways. And we have gone into a cloud-based system. We've um, brought in some of the kind of ITAR compliance and data segregation, controlling users' access to different types of data, which has also been very powerful for us. Bringing a PLM system into any company for the first time is a long road and Applied really has, um, has brought a lot of that experience. When we partner with Applied, they actually come on site to our facility as well, and they really get into the weeds with us of understanding the true nature of the problems that we're trying to fix. And they'll help us map out and brainstorm the actual workflows and the ways that we're gonna integrate some of these tools into our system. So it's not just a very kind of superficial top layer of, of you know, partnership and delivery of a product, it's actually understanding at a much deeper level how we're going to use it, whether that's change management or the reporting and analytics tools, uh, requirements management and the whole digital thread. You know, we're really starting now meaningfully moving down that pathway and that has allowed us to invest very heavily in standardizing our processes, our policies, our templates, and really driven a rigor around the overall design process. Aviation has some very unique challenges that are only um, problems for the aerospace industry. Somebody's going to need to be there to really help get that new technology into the aviation space. Uh, and I see Aerotech being a huge part of that. I think there's a lot of power in a lot of these tools. And again, whether it's on the analytical side, the design side, or the team center side, in some areas, we're still only scratching the surface and we know we can go much deeper and, and we will continue down that journey.